My God, Megan. Your dress is glittery. You look like a princess. You look so beautiful, my love. I'm gonna talk to her more. I'm ready to get drunk. <laughs> this girl, of course she'd say that. You look so beautiful, my love. You make me blush in the wintertime when I can't feel my face on you. It's never enough. Family and friends, we come together to celebrate the gift of love and its presence among us. Denise and Megan have chosen you and me to witness their union and commitment to one another today. I'm ready to see Denise in her dress and for her to see me in my dress. I write big. I'll, you go first. No. What if I cry first? and then I look ugly whenever you're saying yours? Okay, you want me to go first? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> I wanna be yours. <laughs> I From this day forward, I vow to be by your side until I'm old and gray. Even though I won't eat. <laughs> oh, don't lose it. Don't dance. <laughs> don't dance too hard. Um, Denise and Megan, simply together, are unstoppable. It was truly a divine plan that these women found each other. We have been fighting for our love since we were 18, and I wish I could let those 18 year olds know that it will be worth it. You make me blood. <laughs> I could talk forever about why I love you. Your laugh, your humor, and the fact that she's the most beautiful person that I've seen. Now, Denise and Megan are about to say we do. Four little letters, two little words. It's the simplest part of the day. But there's nothing simple about the things that will remain unsaid. I choose you. Every morning from now on, I'll wake up and choose you. For my soulmate, my best friend, person to cry to and gossip with, I choose you. And even though the road here wasn't easy, and I know we still have many years of marriage to make, this moment right here is perfect. Because I, I could do it all over again. I still choose you. It's happy cool. And so by the power vested in me, by the Universal Church in the state of Texas, you can now seal this agreement with a kiss. Family and friends, it is my honor and privilege to introduce to you for the first time, Mrs. and Mrs. Ramos. And then